We've got an awesome Pinot Noir to try today. This is Domaine Jean Maréchal Mercury Premier Cru Clos Levec 2018 Vintage. I'm Greg and this is Leah and we're going to dive into these tasting notes for you. And I think right off the bat, uh, something important to note is the Premier Cru status of this wine. Um, usually th this vineyard is coming from the middle slope in Mercury. Uh, so it gets a lot more sunlight, a lot more ripeness, a little bit of hotter temperatures. There's no cold pockets or anything. So it's really in the optimum position to really mature and to great, create all these complex uh, tasting notes. Yeah, great position on the hill for sure. Um, and obviously, you know, this wine being a premier crew is reflective of a certain stature and that dates back even to the name, right? Clos Levesque, the name of the vineyard. Um, the word clo in French means walled or walled in. So uh, obviously we're looking at a vineyard that was intentionally, you know, kind of sectioned off to preserve, ex you know, exactly how special it was. So. Yeah, and you can definitely taste that in this wine. You can, yeah. Um, it's really deep, concentrated uh, flavors. Um, I get a lot of blueberry, blackberry, even maybe ripe black, uh, black cherry, um, a little bit of brambleberry, kind of those yeah. heavier blue and black fruits with a little bit more structure and tannin behind them. Absolutely, yeah, and a little bit more stem, uh, a little bit more greenery, more vegetation for sure. The secondary notes to this Pinot Noir really stand out for me. A lot of times Pinot Noirs are talked about with having an element of fat to them. Um, this, I think, comes through in this wine for sure, um, sort of like a, um, like, a, like a campfire sort of tinged fat. Um, I also get some elements of pie too, some brown sugar, which I think makes sense for this wine because it spent some time in oak, right? It did, yeah. yeah. There was a little bit of oak involved, so I do also kind of get a little bit of that vanilla on the end. Brown sugar. But it's really not, yeah, yeah, it's really not a prominent flavor in it, but it is there for sure. And it, and it definitely adds a little bit more structure to this wine as well. I think so too, yeah. Um, it's an absolutely wonderful wine. We've been so much, you know, enjoying putting these tasting notes together for you. If you try this wine for yourself, we'd love to hear what you think about it. Please let us know either on our YouTube channel or you can leave us a line on social media. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers.